yes, of course, manifesting can heal anything, replace anything, and bring about any change that you want in your life. However, it is unfair to look at a traumatized person and expect them to just be able to manifest away the pain that they still feel or manifest away those demons that are still following them or manifest away the aftermath of that catastrophic trauma that they are still cleaning alone. And it's not a matter of readiness in that toxic positivity sense that, oh, you're just not ready to make a change or, oh, I'll, I'll talk to you when you're ready. While so easily dismissing this person as immature or unenlightened, some of us have been raised in the dark. In my culture, we don't call it raising a child, we call it training a child. And if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. How is someone like me, someone trained, supposed to just click my mind, like snapping my fingers, just make a change in my mind and manifest away all that trauma when it has become, it has been built to be the root of me or at least a very strong portion now of course it's possible it's probable our beautiful minds and this beautiful universe can do anything through sheer will and repetition and persistence but if you can't do that yet there has to be a point where you start to discuss different alternatives, band-aids to the trauma as opposed to the whole surgery. Instead of running from your demons, stop and get to know them. Demons aren't inherently bad. Anything that chases you will look scary. Because we have this negativity bias, and this is ancestral, it is ingrained in our brains to notice more the things that may threaten our very survival. Whenever you look back at your demons, you will see the ugly faces. The whole story is there, but you will notice more the harm that it may cause you, which is why you run. And this is the part of the video that required the disclaimer because we're talking about life now. When I look back at my demons, I see assaults of an intimate nature enacted upon a child. I see manipulation and various types of abuse that could have very well taken my life. I see threats to my survival. Of course, that'll make me feel angry. Of course, that'll make me feel powerless and vulnerable. Fear, which grows into hatred. But when I actually stop running and I have a look at this big bad demon, I can see a better story. I can see a fighter in myself. I can see a young child who refused to take it a warrior brave enough to fight and she won because I'm still here. From this point of view, how can I not see myself as a victor? It would be illogical to not see me as a champion, someone who fought and won not a little gold medal, but her very life, substance dependency, and the proclivity to act impulsively. 
that demon is hideous from far away. It's shameful. But up close, all I can see is the innate ability to escape from unpleasant situations in the first way that is accessible to me. Fight or flight? Well, sometimes I fly. These are the types of qualities that are revered throughout our societies. Fight, flight, by any means necessary to risk incarceration or a permanent physical ending just to have your voice be heard, just to have your will be done, just to feel better, to survive. Can't you see who you are? Now, because the internet is sensitive, mental illness is a real thing, and it does deserve adequate health care, attention, and treatment. You need to take care of that if that is something you are struggling with. It needs to be handled. I'm coming, I'm coming <laughs> to you with my own personal stories here, okay? And because someone is able to philosophize something does not mean that that person, e.g. me, is in any way downplaying the validity of it, okay? I am not glamorizing your demons. I am not recommending to you that you put some rocks in your pockets and go jump into a lake because you're strong and you can. I'm not saying that at all. However, I am encouraging you to stop running and face your demons so you can see them up close and learn another story about yourself. These bad things that have happened to you in the past, they don't have to eat you. You can travel with them as reminders of the extreme, some would say amazing extents you are capable of going to just to get what you want. And if you're capable of going to such extremely destructive measures, then you're capable of going to extremely constructive measures as well. That's just a fact you're going to have to accept. You are a pendulum. And if you can swing to the far right, then you can sure as hell swing right back to the far left. But these are facts you're just not going to see when you're too busy running from the big bad monsters. It's not as though people like us can just snap our fingers and become that ethereal version of light that others have been raised to be. We were raised in the absence of it. But I am sure that we can find ways to accept that darkness that still follows us without being consumed by it. I'm with the school of thought that if you can't beat something right now, then you may as well learn to live with it. But you cannot live peacefully with it within yourself unless you have that conversation. I recommend that if you identify as someone who has demons that still follows them, if you have anxiety, depression, or another mental condition that you feel is ailing you, if you've experienced some event in your past that you categorize as dark and it's still breaking you, could be a death of someone that you loved that still eats you, could be ongoing abuse when you were younger and it's still haunting you, could be an ongoing addiction or a series of bad choices that still disgraces you, whatever it may be. 
when you're ready, spend some time alone and bring those events to mind. Stop distracting yourself from it and actually think about it for a second or two. And think of your role in these situations. Then think of how you handled yourself during it, how you got out of it, and why you chose those ways in which to respond to it. Were you brave enough to fight for yourself and your values? Were you calculated enough to flee? This session will start out ugly. There may be tears and anger. But as you go through this process, you will feel the fear dissipate. Your understanding of these demons will increase the more you learn from those dark days the more you will see the bulbs of light that was always there. Thorough understanding of these dark events will remove the horror in them. It will remove that heaviness that's inside of you. The way you carry yourself will change. It will remove that stain on your soul. It may not remove your negative recollection of them, and it doesn't have to, but by understanding yourself from these dark experiences, you can add a positive lesson to the end of it, a lesson about your strengths, a lesson about your capabilities, a lesson about yourself. And with that being said, thank you for watching this video. I truly do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I trust you'll give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. So how did you like today's video and what video would you like to see next? You let me know in the comment section down below I can't wait to see you in the next video. Toodles.